Hi everyone. Today's lecture is about quadratic equations. There is something called as a linear equation. The power of a linear equation is 1. The power of a quadratic equation is 2. The first exercise is exercise number 2.1. In exercise 2.1, the first question talks about we have to identify whether the following questions are quadratic or not. To identify the questions are quadratic or not, always remember that. Take all the terms on the left hand side. You have to solve the equation, then decide whether it is quadratic or not. For example, the first question, here all the three terms are on the left hand side. On the right hand side, there is a zero. The power of the variable x, the highest power, is 2. That is why I can directly say that this equation is a quadratic equation because the power is 2. And no need to solve also because all the terms are on the left hand side. Looking at question number 2, here also I can directly decide that this is a quadratic equation. But you have to solve it. You have to take all the terms on this side y square minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 2. This is called as transpositioning, taking all the terms on the left hand side, keeping 0 on the right hand side. Here the power is 2. So this is also a quadratic equation. This is also a quadratic equation. Equation number 3. Question number 3. Question number 3 is y square plus 1 upon y is equal to 2. Now here I cannot directly decide that this equation is quadratic. So what has to be done here? The denominator is y. So I have to multiply each term by y so that this y gets answered. I have to multiply each term by y. So I will write here multiplying each term by y. If I multiply by y, what it becomes? y square into y will become y cube. Hope you understand. Plus y into 1 upon y. Actually, y y will get cancelled. Is equal to 2 into y. So what you will get here? You will get y cube plus 1 is equal to 2y. Take all the terms this side. y cube minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is not a quadratic equation because the power is 3. The power is 3. Come to question number 4. Question number 4 is similar to question number 3. That is why I did not write the question here. I will be giving you as a homework. Question number 5 is there are two brackets given here. m plus 2, m plus 5 is equal to 0. I cannot directly decide here that this equation is not a quadratic equation. We have to solve these two brackets. Then we have to decide. I will multiply these two brackets. I will get m, m plus 5 plus 2, m plus 5 is equal to 0. m into m is m square. m into 5 is 5m. 2 into m is 2m. 2 into 5 is 10 is equal to 0. So m square plus 7m plus 10 is equal to 0. Here, here the power of m is 2. I can say that yes, this equation is a quadratic equation. Question number 6. Here also, I cannot directly decide whether this equation is a quadratic equation or not. I have to take all the terms on the left hand side. I will take 1 m cube. This is also m cube. So this 3 m cube, it comes on the left hand side. It will become minus 3 m cube plus 3 m square minus 2 is equal to 0. So 1 minus 3 is minus 2 m cube plus 3m square minus 2 is equal to 0. This is not a quadratic equation because the power here is 3. Hope you understand. Now the next question talks about write the following equations in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 
and find the values of A, B and C. Now this is also a very simple question. Now looking at question number 1. 2y is equal to 10 minus y square. First of all, these terms are not arranged properly. As I told you earlier, you have to take all the terms on the left hand side and keep a 0 on the right hand side. For example, here, minus y square, it comes on the right hand side, left hand side, it becomes plus y square. This is plus 2y and plus 10, it comes here, it becomes minus 10 is equal to 0. Here, this equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So I will write comparing this equation, comparing this equation with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We will get a is equal to, you will get 1, b is equal to, you will get 2 and c is equal to, you will get minus 10. So here you get the values of a, b and c. Now question number 2. Question number 2 is x minus 1 the whole square is equal to 2x plus 3. As I told you, you have to take all the terms on the left hand side. So you will get x minus 1 the whole square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Here, this is x minus 1 the whole square. Here, I will be using a formula that is a minus b the whole square. The formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square. x minus 1 the whole square, the formula is a square means x square minus 2ab that means 2 into x into 1 is 2x plus b square minus 1 ka square is 1. So x square minus 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. See the like terms, these are the like terms and these are the like terms x square minus 2x minus 2x will become minus 4x minus 3 plus 1 will become minus 2 is equal to 0 so here the terms are arranged I will write comparing with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 you will get a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 2 hope you understand Question number, question number 3, x square plus 5x is equal to, I will open the brackets, minus 3 plus x, take all the terms this side, x square plus 5x minus x plus 3 is equal to 0, x square plus 5x minus 1x will become 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now you can do comparing. You will get a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 3. Question number 4. 3m square minus 2m square plus 9 is equal to 0. Taking all the terms on the left hand side. 3m square minus 2m square is 1m square plus 9 is equal to 0. But this is not arranged properly. See, here there is only ax square and c. There are only two terms. We need three terms in a quadratic equation. So I will write 1m square plus 0m because middle term was missing. So I am using 0 because 0 into any number is 0. Plus 9 is equal to 0. So I will get a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 9. Some number 5 and some number 6 you can do for homework. The next question talks about are these values roots of the following equation? Once again, are these given values roots of the following quadratic equations? To find whether a number is a root of the quadratic equation or not, we have to substitute the value of that variable of that number in the question and get LHS and RHS equal. If LHS and RHS is equal, 
then the given number is the root of quadratic equation otherwise the given number is not the root of quadratic equation let us see there are two questions given in the textbook now i am not going to solve this question you have to do it as a homework question number 2 i am going to solve 2m square minus 5m is equal to 0 the values of m are 2 and 5 upon 2 now what i will do is i will write first putting value of m as 2 now here there are two values given so first value is 2 so i will write putting m is equal to 2 i will write left hand side lhs left hand side of this equation there are two sides this is left hand side this is right hand side this is left this is right so this is left hand side you, you are getting 2m square minus 5m this is left hand side so i write 2 into m value is 2 minus 5 m value is 2 see instead of writing m i am writing the value of m as 2 instead of writing m i am writing the value of m as 2 so i will get 2 square is 4 4 to the is 8 minus 5 to the is 10 8 minus 10 is minus 2 is it equal to rhs rhs is 0 this is minus 2 this is 0 so it is not equal to right hand side rhs if it is not equal to rhs i will write m is equal to 2 is not a root of the given equation this is my first part now there are two parts this is the first part first part is over now the second value of m is 5 upon 2 so i write putting m is equal to 5 upon 2 now m value 5 upon 2 in the left hand side left hand side your left hand side is 2m square minus 5m so 2 into the value of m is 5 upon 2 square 5 value of m is 5 upon 2 any props no props see the value of m is 5 upon 2 the value of m is 5 upon 2 so 2m square instead of writing m i am writing 5 upon 2 5m instead of writing m i am writing 5 upon 2 so i will get 2 into square of 5 5 5 is 25 square of 2, 2 2 is 4 minus 5 5 is 25 upon upon 2 2 ones are 2 2 2 is 4 25 upon 2 minus 25 upon 2 answer is 0 is it equal to right hand side yes is equal to right hand side coming to the last part of exercise 2.1 now there are two questions question number 5 and question number 6 now when you look at both the questions you will find that both the questions are similar to each other x equal to 3 is one root of this equation find k you look at this question 6 question m is equal to minus 7 upon 5 is root of this equation find k so question number 5 you will do as homework question number 6 i am going to solve in the class m is equal to minus 7 upon 5 is one of the root now this m minus 7 upon 5 is one of the root of this equation if this minus 7 upon 5 is root of this equation then if i put the value of m as minus 7 upon 5 in the equation i will get right hand side as 0 hope you understand if i put the value of m as minus 7 upon 5 in this equation i will get the value as 0 the left hand side and the right hand side are equal when the question is given as a root of the equation so i will write putting m is equal to minus 7 upon 5 5 into i will write the question first 5m square plus 2m plus k is equal to 0 5 into what is the value of m minus 7 upon 5 the whole square plus 2 into what is the value of m minus 7 upon 5 plus k is equal to 0 so i will get 5 into minus 7 the whole square so minus 7 into minus 7 is 49 plus 49 5 square, 5 5 is 25. Plus 2 into minus 7. 2 into 7. 
but plus 2 into minus 7 is minus 14 upon 5 plus k is equal to 0. Two, sorry, 5 ones are 5, 5 fives are 25. You will get 49 upon 5 minus 14 upon 5 plus k is equal to 0. Now here the denominators are same. So I can subtract them directly. Denominators are same. I will subtract the numerators directly. 49 minus 14 is 35. Is what? 35 upon 5 plus k is equal to 0. 5 ones are 5, 5 7 are 7 plus k is equal to 0. Therefore, k is equal to plus 7. It goes there, it becomes minus 7. The value of k is minus.